Well, my goodness, if that's not a workout, I don't know what is. I just brought all of this stuff in from my van without using my cart. I should have just used my cart. I kept thinking, just get the cart, Kim. Just get the cart. I didn't get the cart. So welcome to a Costco grocery haul. I just did a shop with me there. Oh my goodness. It was a long one. At least it felt that way. And I, I came prepared with a list. The grocery list. I'm actually not even finished. I'm finished at Costco. Well, kind of. I forgot granola bars. It wasn't on my list though. Can you give me that? Um, so the haul continues behind me. There we go, behind me, and then all of this over here. But I am prepping to do some freezer meals, so I stocked up on some stuff that I think I need for them. <laughs> I say I think because I made a list a couple days ago, and I'm just hoping I knew what I was doing when I made the list. And Oh, did I tell you I wasn't finished? I still need to go to Publix to get just a few more things. Maybe I'll combine that at the end of this haul. So let's get going. Maybe, let, maybe let's calm down for a second first. Okay, so here is like 80% of the haul. And then here is the rest of it with some hot dogs. <laughs> Went to the food court at the end because, oh my gosh, I was running out of steam. I also need some water. Should I drink some before the haul? Nah, let's just go. No time. Oh my gosh, have you guys ever had cotton candy grapes? I know they've been around for many years now. Um, I've never had one. I don't know. Uh, well, I can't say that anymore because I did have one at Costco. I don't know how they do it. And a part of me does not want to give these to my kids because I don't want them to think fruit tastes like artificial candy. Does that make sense? Like, okay, let me go on my rant for just a second, then we'll get along with the haul. But why do they make candy taste like fruit? You've got grape flavored lollipops, strawberry, cherry, watermelon, you guys know. Candy tastes like fruit. Why are they trying to make fruit taste like candy? But I'll tell you what, they did a good job because it tastes exactly like cotton candy. It's insanity. So just as a special treat, I bought it this one time. They're not that crispy, I will say that, but oh my gosh, are they delicious. I'm not even a huge fan of cotton candy. Okay, moving on. I did get um, two things of strawberries. My, my family could eat strawberries breakfast, lunch, and dinner, I tell you. I got some green beans because, well, no good reason. Guys, maybe I'll have the freezer meal videos up by now, but I don't think that's part of the freezer meal plan. I think that's just like, oh, I also need to feed my family dinners for the week, so I got some stuff that we normally eat. Pineapples, one for now, one for later. One of them looks more ripe. One of them looked more ripe in the store anyway. Okay, I think that one's for now, this one's for later. They might still need more time. I got some baby potatoes. Look how little these baby potatoes are. And then I got a massive bag of like normal potatoes, but we'll get to that. I got raspberries and I feel like I should have got two packs of these. My kids just, oh my gosh, they devour fruit. Speaking of fruit, got some bananas. And okay, we'll finish that before we get here. I got some Brussels sprouts, just one bag because my cart was starting to overflow, guys. It was getting a little bit intense. I got some carrots. I normally buy the carrots that you have to peel, and I'll get to that in just a second, but I figured, you know, instead of peeling them and cutting them, the work is done for me here. I can just dump them on a sheet, throw it in the oven, or whatever. They cook faster this way. Okay, so a lot of you told me that with the other carrots, you don't have to peel them. You just have to wash them. I did that, and there was a funky taste. It was like dirty, kind of. Maybe it was in my head. I don't know, I'm gonna try it again. No, I'm not, because I just finished that bag yesterday, so I guess we'll never know. <laughs> I will eventually try it again, I'm sure, but I just thought, oh, these taste a little dirty. <laughs> Maybe I didn't wash them well enough, but I do have this like scrubber. Where is it? Here, it's like Rachel Ray. It's got a scrubber on it and everything. That's what I used. Okay, I got a bag of onions because we're out of them. I should have got two bags, but I didn't. I love onions. Uh, cauliflower, we love cauliflower, especially when you roast it. However, goodness gracious, why is cauliflower so expensive? This bag was $4.50, which is probably the equivalent of like one and a half cauliflowers, but whatever. Uh, did I show you the bananas already? Oh, I found these, and these look interesting. I've never uh, bought them before. They are Organic Greens 5 like times five, so I guess there's five types. Zucchini, broccoli, wow, I don't even know what that is. Harry Cotts verts, is that English? Peas and leeks, what is the Harry Cotts verse, vert? Harry Cott, Harry Cott. 
whatever. <laughs> Hooked on phonics. Does that mean green bean? Because I see some green beans in there. <laughs> uh, this looked really good and it's right up my alley. I love this. And I think it said it was seasoned. Yes, blend of seasoned. So hoping this is delicious and it's going to be nutritious as well. This, however, won't be nutritious, but I got it for the kids Easter baskets and also like mom's Easter basket that I keep in the fridge for late night munching. Guys, these little lint chocolates, they're bunnies and friends. I normally buy these for their Easter basket, but I get a pack of like, I don't know, four or five of them from Target and the pack is like five bucks, but that I want to say was around 10. I don't remember. I'll try to put the prices here. My receipt was about a mile long, so hopefully I don't lose it. I also got some English muffins. I wanted the wheat ones and Publix often has these buy one, get one free, but at Costco, this is still such a good price. I got how many? Did I, I got two packs and each pack contains 18. So we're going to have a lot of freezer breakfast sandwiches. I've never made them before, so I'm pretty excited about it. My family is also, um, we have our once a month family dinner. And uh, this month is Irish theme, like St. Patrick's Day themed. So I'm making my menu plan of what I'm going to bring. And I saw this at Costco and I thought, oh my gosh, take some of the work out of it for me. Corned beef and cabbage, potatoes and onions. If this is an Irish... I don't know what it is. Ready in eight minutes, perfect for a mom. Oh, guess what? The only like real treat, well, I guess aside from the lint, I, what I'm getting to is I already opened these. No regrets. Guys, these are so stinking good and you can't beat the price at Costco. They are decent with their ingredients, but I will tell you, this tastes like cookie dough. Like in the best way, like oatmeal chocolate chip cookie dough. Oh, I could eat the whole bag. I have to zip it up and put it away from my eyes. Pulled pork. I have a freezer meal to do with this, but then also I got another one because, um, hello, delicious pulled pork. I'm sure you could freeze these, but we'll probably eat it before it goes in the freezer. <laughs> we just throw them on either Hawaiian rolls or my kids just like to eat them, eat the pork plain and then have like beans and corn on the side. Oh my gosh, so good. Speaking of the egg muffin sandwiches. What are those called? Egg muffins? English muffin? Whatever they are. I also got these, the Canadian bacon. I thought this would be a perfect size to just slap right on there with some eggs. So we're going to roll with that. I'm also going to make breakfast burritos. Oh, wait. Oh, man. That's what happens when I don't pay attention. I'm making dinner freezer meals and breakfast freezer meals. So I guess I'll have a lot of cooking to do this week before all of this stuff starts to get moldy. I, I wanted to do the dinner ones first, but now that I'm looking around, I don't know if I have everything to do it. Okay, I wanna make breakfast burritos. Oh, they're so good and so handy. When I come home from the gym and Meredith's ready for a nap, I have like 0.5 seconds until she starts getting fussy uh, to like eat something. So I figure I can just pop this in the microwave and eat it really quickly, mm, you know what I mean? I wanted to get all whole wheat tortillas, but Alex doesn't like whole wheat tortillas. So I got the normal tortillas for him. And um, you get a ton in here, like a crazy amount. Two 18 counts. Okay, same as the muffins over there. And these were on sale today. These Nan dippers, they're tiny little non breads. Non, right? Non bread. I think that's how you say it. I just, oh my gosh, these are just so good. And my kids like to dip them in hummus. Delicious. I'm also planning to make some like hot pockets, like mini calzones kind of thing. Oh, and I've never seen my Costco carry these before. So I figured that was a sign to go ahead and do it. You got two pounds of these pepperonis. Like what? Hello, meat. So there's that. Also the world's most expensive cereal, but it's so good. I think it's $13 and it's really, really delicious. Is that the back of the box? doesn't matter. I think it all looks the same. Almonds, cereal flakes, pumpkin seeds, dried can't cranberries and dried cherries can I speak sometimes I can lightly sweetened with maple berry you know what my husband does he picks out the uh, raisins he doesn't like them he says they're so hearty they're hard to chew I actually enjoy chewing them sometimes when he eats the cereal he's like gosh this makes you know you have to chew a lot I was like yeah imagine that you have to chew your food okay a uh, cream cheese don't remember why I got this I'm sure there's a reason in many of the dinner recipes coming up I oh, hopefully those freezer meal videos are posted first so I can reference you to it. They'll they'll come around the same time hopefully maybe if I get around to it. 
<laughs> fingers crossed, right? Uh, snacking cheese. My husband really enjoys these. He actually asked for them specifically. They're not the cheapest thing. You get three little balls of mozzarella cheese. And how many packs do you get in here? Ooh, oh, 24 one ounce packs. He, he loves them. So I aim to please. I also got some provolone for some sliders that I'm going to make. Uh, it call, The recipe calls for Swiss. I don't know if my kids are going to enjoy the flavor of Swiss cheese, so I got a more mild provolone. Do you feel me? And then a ton of butter, because I want to make some cookie dough. Oh my gosh. And then other recipes call for butter. I also got a ton of cheese. You guys know how I feel about cheese. Not my favorite thing, but also it's delicious. So, you know, what are you going to do about it? We're trying our best, but not today. So mozzarella cheese times four, because I got four of these packets and I almost got the blocks of cheese. However, they're more expensive. I didn't realize. What? And if you want to um, freeze the cheese, you have to shred it before you freeze it. And so I thought, oh my gosh, that's just less work for me to do if I buy it pre-shredded. I also got some sandwich, what is this called? Sandwich bread? I like to make, you know what I like? I like Frank's Killer Bread, but at my Costco, they only carry one kind, and my the rest of my family does not like that kind, and I can't go through two loaves before it goes bad. I guess I could throw it in the freezer. You know what, my cart was filling up and I was just trying not to overload myself. So I got the oatmeal to please my family. I am a people pleaser, nice to meet you. I also got this bread. Oh my gosh, all the carbs, all the dairy, all, well, not all the bad things. We got some good stuff in there, but Hawaiian rolls, who can resist, am I right? I'm going to be making a freezer meal with this and probably a dinner because why not? And then I got a ton of eggs. Now that I'm thinking I probably need more eggs, if we're gonna do all those breakfast meals, this will probably cover just that, you know? I need more eggs. Coming over here, what's on my floor over there? Oh, socks, great. I got hot dogs for the family when they get home, and then, oh, these luxurious towels. Instagram made me do it. I follow a Costco Instagram account, and they posted these ribbed towels, and someone in the comment section said, oh, they dry faster because they're ribbed. Now, I don't know if that's true, but they sure do look nice. So I got four of them. We haven't bought new towels. Actually, okay, I've bought new towels, but I always get like the $3 ones on sale or $5 ones on sale. These were a decent price, I think. I actually haven't looked at the receipt yet. And guys, I spent a gob ton of money today. Probably, I think my biggest Costco haul, if not my second. It's like tied with my biggest. So anyway, back to the towels. Um, we got married 12 years ago, over 12 years ago, and we got a set of towels for our wedding present. Love them. Miss Meredith's over there. Hey, she's in her little swing. Okay, <laughs> what is she doing? She's trying to look behind her. <laughs> okay, anyway, um, yeah, towels. And we, you know what? We just need more. It's nice to have come out of the shower with, to a nice towel, you know what I mean? So, moving on, our towels are, yeah, we just need more. Watermelon, I cannot wait to rip into this guy. Maybe I should get some water so I don't cut it right away. I'm just thirsty is what I'm trying to say. I'm so thirsty. Watermelon, I'm like drooling for it. It's not summertime yet. This wasn't the best price, but I did it anyway because my kids specifically asked for one. Again, I aim to please. Potatoes, I'm not thrilled about having to peel these, but I will say mashed potatoes from russet potatoes. Oh my gosh, can we get any better than that? I don't know. I actually, I normally use these potatoes to make mashed potatoes and I just cook them in its skin. I really enjoy that, but you know, I have other people in my family that, you know what, they don't complain about it. I don't know, I'm just trying to make things hard on myself. Moving on. I also got the four piece set of hand, oh, four, two hand towels, two washcloths. Ah, oh, well that was an oversight. I thought there were four hand towels in here, but we'll make it work. Um, because I need some more of these. I actually need new kitchen towels too. These are from Ikea. Maybe we'll go to Ikea again. I don't know if I can handle Ikea again, but I sure can, so we'll probably go soon. I love Ikea, I'm just kidding about that. Snap pack, I've never seen these at Costco, you guys. Um, 38 ounces, rectangular food storage containers. This was $10 for 25 containers. Amazon has some really good deals for these types of containers, but 
I think this is a screaming deal because I don't think Amazon can beat this price. And I like to have these on hand for when we have guests over and they want to leave with leftovers. This is just an easy way to make that happen without them having to like make sure to return a container to us, you know? And speaking of guests, um, like I said, we have family get togethers once a month. So I like to do paper plates on those days. I know it's not the best. I know guys, I don't like paper plates. I like to do a lot of things to help the environment. However, when we have like a ton of people over our house, you know what I like less than paper plates? Doing the dishes. <laughs> so I get paper plates for just those occasions. And I figure um, we only meet at my house once every three months. So it does take us a while to go through these. That's my justification. We're moving on. Oh my gosh, speaking of the coolest thing, my battery's dying. Do you think we'll make it without having to change it? I got two pairs of these bobs. And I will say in store, it took me forever to find the eight the size eight, that's my size. In the tan color, I got two pairs, the black and the tan. They were $15. How can I say no to that? I Because I almost bought some off of Amazon for legit, I, th I wanna say they were 40 bucks, maybe even 50. Are these like my favorite color? No, but they're neutral and they go with everything. I don't know if the eights fit me. I'm just crossing my fingers that they do. I tried on the eight and a half and they were a smidge big, so I'm just, taking my chances you know I was baby wearing and all that stuff two more things peanut butter because apparently my kids don't like the natural kind and choosy moms choose jiff also picky kids choose jiff apparently and then I got this and didn't read it right correctly I thought it was for weeds it's not it's to get um like stains off it's a stain remover so I'll be returning this uh, cause we don't need it. We don't, we just got our deck redone and our roof is fine and our siding doesn't exist. So there's that. I so that is everything. I hope you enjoyed this massive haul. Oh wait, did I show you the Mexican street flautas? I don't think I did. I told you I was going to skip back to it. I'm pretty sure I didn't. I don't know how these taste, but I hope they taste good because there's 16 of them in here. Are there 16 in each? No, there's eight and eight. Okay. Do you hear Meredith talking over there? She's like, get me out of this swing. I've been in here forever. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out. I hope you enjoyed your time here. Time for me to get some water. What's for dinner? Those hot dogs. I forgot. <laughs> it's an after school snack. But they're so big. The Costco hot dogs are like this big. No joke. And it's like $1.50 and you get a hot dog and a drink. What? I said no to the drinks because I just, I, I couldn't, how am I going to hold six of them? And we only drink water anyway. That's a lie. Alex really likes Mountain Dew, but I'm not going to enable him by giving him Mountain Dew. I digress. Okay, now I have to put all this away. I don't want to, so if you want to come over and help me, you're more than welcome. Thank you so much, and I will see you next time. Small update, I just tried the bobs on, and you know, they feel the same as Tom's. I don't think Tom's have a little platform on them though, which, I don't know, it's nice. It's like a one inch boost. However, I feel like just from wearing them around the house for like four seconds, I feel like I'm going to get blisters on my heels. Does that happen to any of you guys? You let me know. I don't know. I might try them out, wear them for like 10 minutes around the house, but I don't know. Are they going to give me blisters? I don't want that to happen. Just when you thought we were done. <laughs> I went to Publix. I tried to go last night, but then you, the day just got away from me and I had too many things to do. So um, I picked up the rest of the stuff that I need for all of my freezer meals. So I thought I would share that and kind of combine them with you. So here we go. Publix is the best. Right next to Costco, anyway. Okay, so here we go. This is from last night, yesterday. Didn't put it away. This is from this morning. Guess I'm gonna eat that. You know what? Finally getting my donuts, guys. It's been like a month. Alex is bringing them home. I can't wait. Uh, I'll share my excitement on Instagram. Okay, I got some zucchini. I'm gonna be, ma be making bim bum bop, bee boom bop. It's the Korean dish. Oh, I have to Google how to pronounce it because I forget. It's like mm, bop. Hit the top by Bibimbop. Pretty sure that's how it is. It's delicious. A rose by any other name. So good. I'm going to try to freeze it. Oh, fingers crossed. I don't know if I can, but we're going to find out together. Um, vanilla extract. I need this for, of course, cookies and then other things. Poppy seeds. Who doesn't love a good poppy seed? Um, I need this for, I don't know, a couple of dishes. And then I got honey mustard dressing. The recipe called for the dressing. And then I thought, well, you know what? Avelina loves honey mustard and always asks to dip stuff in it. So 
I don't know why I've never bought it for her. <laughs> we usually get like the take home packets when we go out to eat somewhere, like out to eat. I mean like fast food somewhere. We get extra honey mustard and save them for her, but I don't know, I thought, you know what, this will make her happy. And then since I forgot granola bars yesterday at Costco, I got some chewy bars. They were buy one, get one free. 25% less sugar, but Lord, they still have like 20 grams of sugar. And, it, and then Lara Bar, kids, Eleanor loves these and they're, you know, cleaner ingredients and stuff, still sugar, but this one has five grams of added sugar. Oh, five grams of sugar, that's not too bad. I don't know how they taste because obviously the other ones had 25% more apparently. And um, these, oh, these have 10 grams of added sugar, but I don't know. The ingredients are supposed to be better. Are they? We don't know. Whatever. And then I have been dying to make energy balls, but I've been out of flaked coconut. And that is the case many a time. So I figured I would just stock up on it. I got four packs of them and I always get the unsweetened coconut flakes because we add the agave and we add, you know, a little bit of chocolate chips in there. So I don't need them to be sweetened and that's how I like it. And then of course the oats, I need this for some oatmeal freezer meal videos. Oh my gosh, did you hear my stomach just now? Probably not because my mouth is loud, but it is growling waiting for that sour cream donut. I came home and I was like, oh, I should eat a snack. There's Meredith over there. I said, I should eat a snack because they're not home yet. I don't know where they are, but I want to wait off for my donut. Do you see her? Hello, Meredith. Hi. <laughs> Hi. You hanging out on the floor? Getting some exercise? She's so good, I love her. Okay, I got a bunch of jasmine rice because uh, this is the kind of rice that I like to make with, well, it's just fragrant and delicious and Thai inspired, if you will, and it goes really well with that Korean bim, bibim bop dish, bibim bop. Close enough? Um, and then I got some marinara sauce for a freezer meal. I don't remember which one. On my list, I literally didn't even put how many to buy, but these were buy one, get one free, so I thought, if I don't use it for the freezer meal, I'll have it left over. And then I got flour. I almost bought some at Costco yesterday, and I probably should have, but my cart was getting so full that I thought, you know what? I'm pretty sure I have some at home, and I haven't even checked yet to see if I have any. I'm pretty sure I do have like half the Costco bag left, but I thought just in case I'll get this guy. And then um, some pasta. I just got the mini bow ties because they're my favorite. They're just so stinking cute. And then down here, I got a ton of sausage. I, you know, I don't really know why. I know I needed at least four pounds. And then I thought, well, just in case I'll get four more. <laughs> and then I got ham. You can freeze the sausage and it'll be just fine, you know? And then I got some sweet ham, two pounds of it. I'm making like Hawaiian rolls. Also need the poppy seeds for that. And then unsweetened vanilla milk for mashed potatoes. Make it once a week. And I figured instead of making it once a week, I could just make it a bunch of it freeze it and I'll be good to go. So there's that. Um, and then some vanilla to drink. Everyone loves to drink that. And then for a recipe or two, we have half and half, fat free half and half. Was that a mistake? How, what is it always half is half and half always fat free or did I pick up the fat free kind? Who wants half and half? That's fat free. I want the fat. I want the flavor. Okay. Heavy whipping cream. Good Lord, this was, it. I mean, not expensive, but $5 for this was more than I thought. Um, I don't know how much I need. Again, I just wrote on my list. Hey, at least I went with a list, you know? <laughs> I just put, I need whipping cream. And I thought, you know, if I don't use it all for the recipe, I can use the rest of it to give my kids whipping cream, <laughs> you know? And they can eat it with strawberries, one of their favorite things. Um, and then three cheese ravioli. I know it's called ravioli, but I got two bags, two large bags. And there's that. Continuing the largest Costco haul I've ever done. <laughs> What's your face back there? <laughs> yes, Wentworth with, went with me this morning to Costco. I needed a couple things for freezer meals. I'm right yeah. in the middle of it. Yeah, I got him, I got him. Oh yeah, so he got some corn dogs and then I needed some broccoli. I also, this was on my list, but I didn't grab it, this runner. I bought one a few weeks ago, maybe a month ago, and my initial plan was to throw it right here. Is that an ice pack down there? Anyway, um, I decided not to. I put it out here 
Um, it's an indoor outdoor rug, but then we also have some doors over there and I thought to match, I might as well, we have a different rug over there. So what is that on there? Oh gosh, I've got to clean everything. Anyway, I thought to just to match, I would buy another one and it would look nicer. And plus that rug is like four years old. How long have we lived here? So it's time for an upgrade. It's like falling apart every time I clean it. You know what I mean? Like the bottom of it. Okay. I also did not get the Costco brand granola bars. What is all over my life? I got these Chewy brand because they were on sale. It supports a sustainably sourced cocoa. Cocoa? All right. <laughs> There's two different brands and kinds in here. Chocolate chip and then peanut butter chocolate chip. The baby's awake. And then these pants were on sale. They're men's. They were like 10 bucks. So I got them for Alex. I, I mean, you can't say no to $10 pants. Am I right? And then I got some tins, not tins, whatever these are called, uh, for more freezer meals because I ran out of all of ours. And then some hummus. Uh, great to pack for like when we're on the go. Oh, and then bacon. Did I show you this? The star of the show. I've never bought this before. Bacon crumbles just because I don't feel like cooking bacon and then crumbling it. I'm saving some time. Out with the old and in with the new. Goodness gracious, that looks so much better. And I will tell you one more thing about these rugs. Gosh, this one is just so old and crusty and dusty. Ugh. I looked them up on Amazon and it mostly just the brand because I thought, oh, I don't feel like going back to Costco and buying one. Guys on Amazon, they are so crazy expensive. So um, Amazon prices, even though it wasn't on sale, this one was on sale, but the other one I just bought wasn't. Um, it's even, it's a good price compared to even Amazon. So I'll say that. I'm actually really excited to start making the freezer meals now. I've carved out a couple of days. I won't talk a lot because I know I already made an outro, so bye for now. You'll see me right now. Subscribe if you want to put some happy in your day. Bye. Hello, Meredith. Hello, sweet girl. Oh, did it stop moving? Why is your neck like that? <laughs> You're creeping me out. Hi. Oh, you, you like when they move. <laughs> Here it is. What's wrong with your neck? <laughs> you know what she's been doing lately? Rolling over. So she's probably trying, she's probably practicing. Hold on. Hello, Miss Meredith. Oh, hello, my sweet girl. Hi. You want to talk to me? You can talk. You want to show us how you do it? Like you're such a big girl? Did you like Costco today?